Hey, it's Drybear. Lost Ark is one of the best MMOs you can experience in the gameplay itself, and they're offering an incredible deal right now with their brand new Ignite servers. Now, it is an awesome MMO. It is a Korean MMO developed by Smilegate in Korea, and it is a game that is a little bit more on the pay-to-win side and definitely has its faults, but it's something that I think a lot of people will tell you it has some of the best raid experience, PvE experience, and combat feels of any MMO on the market. So whether you're someone who has played Lost Ark in the past and is considering coming back for the launch of their season three, their new tier, all of their new content, their rework of everything, or if you're someone who's never tried Lost Ark before, now is a great time to jump into the Ignite servers and get a free boosted character all the way to current endgame that you can use for whatever your purposes are. And what's great about this accelerated server is you'll be able to keep the character that you play on that server. If you're a brand new character, you can keep up to six characters total, and there's a ton of classes that you can experience and try out for for the next five or six weeks that you can decide on which ones you want to keep for your roster and honestly even if you're somewhat interested in the game it's worth considering just playing the lot the ignite servers over the next couple weeks deciding what you like and keeping some of it and then just having it available because realistically the ignite server can end up saving you over a year's worth of normal progression done in a matter of days or weeks if you just jump on the ignite server and have fun with it in the meantime so today i want to go through the basic summary especially if you're someone who's new to the game on how to walk through the Ignite server. It's actually incredibly fast and incredibly easy. And then once you're done with this process, then you can play and decide what you want to do. So once you boot up to Lost Ark, whether you're a returning player or you're a brand new player, you're going to be hit with a server list. There is a special Ignite server label with this Ignite marker inside the server list. And this is the one you want to look for because this one is running for a limited time period that will allow you to gain access to these free boosted characters that you can keep forever. Joining the Ignite server, going to the this character select screen will tell you that you have awesome rewards that you can collect from transferring off of that. So the Ignite server's operation period is from October 9th, so it's just, you know, about a week old, and it goes until November 27th. So you have like another six weeks or so before you can finish off the Ignite server, and starting on October 23rd through the October 20, or through November 25th, you'll be able to transfer off one character if you're a returning player, or upwards of a full roster of six if you are a brand new account onto a normal server when this ignite server goes away now what's cool about this is that normally the process of leveling and gearing up in this game is quite extensive it is a grindy game and so you can you know getting a new character or getting a new roster started and getting all the way up to eye level 1620 which is the end goal of the ignite servers and allows you to play all of the new content that's coming in for lost ark right now would usually take you quite a long time i think a hardcore player would probably take anywhere from five to seven months to do it, a casual player will probably take a year or more to be able to get to that point. And they want to get people caught up because the game's been out for a long time to that point and easily into it. It actually completes a lot of progression for you and gives you some very powerful character. So now let's walk through the process of creating a character and getting it up to par so you can start playing with it. Because I think that one of the biggest challenges about joining MMOs for the first time is definitely going to be the amount of content that you don't know how it works. There's a lot of secondary systems, progression systems, gear systems, they're just way all up in your face and it's very confusing. So when you get to the Ignite server, all you have to do is hit create character. There are characters that are locked into uh, class types. So you're going to be choosing a warrior, but inside the warrior, there's going to be specific classes that you choose. You can kind of think of this like the job system in Final Fantasy. Ultimately, the overall class doesn't matter. Like no one really requires warriors or mages or martial artists. What they're looking for is the classes that these turn into, right? Striker, breaker, that sort of thing. So what I would do is if you're super new to the game is go and look through this list and figure out which ones sound good to you. Again, the big thing about the Ignite server is that it's easy to level up, easy to progress and easy to play. So you can make up to six characters, try a bunch of things and figure out what works for you and what's interesting. I definitely would explore a lot of this because I think the classes are, like I said, the gameplay and the classes are the most stellar part about Lost Ark, even if you don't like the other systems or the Korean Eastern style gameplay and like progression systems as part of it, I think the gameplay sings. It's so amazing. I can't find a single MMO that is, is as good or as rewarding as the PvE is in this game. Now, it might be kind of confusing because when you hit customize, you'll be making your character based on how you want. There, There is a nice import system. You can find these customization uh, online. Like if you look online, you'll find customization slots that you can like download other people's 
versions of characters and decide what it is that you want to use as part of that. And that could be your character, that sort of thing. Um, but what's interesting about this is that um, it is a Eastern game, which means that they are going to be gender locked, which means that if you're looking for a specific character. It's going to be a specific gender, you know, your, your, your typical gender. So figure out what it is that you want and make the character and hit apply. Next, you'll start out at your level, like low level journey, which is going to be here in uh, like uh, uh, the true of the Forgotten Land. This is the beginning of the campaign. And this is something that the campaign usually takes like 10 to 12 hours. Don't worry, you don't have to do any of this. We're going to skip all of this. So if you wanted to, you could just go through the process and play this normally. I wouldn't do this on the Ignite server. I would just do it on whatever server you transfer to if you want to try that experience. But what you can do now is because we're on the Ignite server, we can skip the entire prologue. So at the top left corner, we're going to see a button skip prologue. We click that and then we'll be able to skip through all of these. Now on the normal server, you will be able to progress these and get some cosmetics and things like that you'll probably want to do that anyway but again it being ignite i would skip all of this anyways and in the top right corner behind my big fat head is a button called skip all guides you hit this and hit yes and it's going to skip all of these and push you all the way forward to one of the more end game towns with some gear and some unlocks so you'll land here in a town called voldis what's cool about this is that the world is quite massive and you can actually get on a boat and drive around inside the ocean and do things like that but to progress your character you're going to want to make sure you complete this tutorial you'll see on the right side all of your quests here you'll have some golden quests for your growth progress on the ignite servers but you'll also have these this quick tutorial this purple quest anytime you do purple quests very important these unlock things or teach you how to do things so just hit f5 and then uh, unlock that talk to this character get all of this done and the reason we do this is because it unlocks the next stage of the growth quest so y'all if you know what you're doing you just shift g through all of this get it all done jump on your mount get on the mount we complete that quest He's done with that. We're going to go ahead and finish that. And I'm just going to power through this real quick. It is useful to know like the training area and then potions and pets and all that stuff. And he teaches you all of it. But you want to make sure that this is done because it will unlock the next part of the quest line that you'll need for resources as well. So there we go. We finished that quest. Now that's done and unlocked. Next step is going to be activating an event. And let's go ahead and just move my head here because it's going to be in the way for this. Um, so all of your events are going to be here on your UI in game. There's a whole bunch of ones in here. There's usually an event shop that you can use to buy items and things like that. You can look at this Artesia tour. If you're a brand new player, you want to transfer over your horizontal progress. But the one we're looking for is the Rising Express right here, this green up arrow. This is where you're going to get all of your progress through the game in order to get all the way to 1620 so that you can transfer your character off off to a real server and keep it select style for each class there are two main play styles a class specific engraving which de determines how you play your character and you can switch between these freely and decide which one you like more on which one is more fun or more interesting to you but they're going to give you basically all of this stuff for free they're going to give you a full build they're going to give you a full set of uh, accessories all of your engravings activated they're going to be a full set of gems and a full set of cards all of these are just progression systems that make your character strong so you just have to hit okay save you've got it all good to go and now you can see here on this list this is your journey to exit the ignite server you want to be moving through these levels leveling your character up getting stronger and collecting these rewards so immediately hit claim rewards so you have this box open this box up and accept it and that's going to give you all of your loot in order to start pushing towards the next stage to get that done the next thing you want to do is open up your gear selection chest each one of these are gear sets that have different bonuses. It is a very involved game that has lots of different th ways to customize your character and make it stronger and make it uh, you know, more durable, more powerful, more damaging, more supportive, things like that. And you'll probably want to just look at a guide on what you want to do for these sets here. And you can actually change these as well if you need to. I'm playing a Drizzle Aeromancer, so I'm going to pull in the Hallucination set, which gives a lot of extra crit, which is like the main thing that Drizzle is missing is just a lot of extra crit. So we're going to rock with that you can see that i've got my full set here and we've got everything set up we're now level i level 1540 and our goal is to get to 1620 before we exit this server now if you're a brand new player i recommend hitting j to open your quests go up to guide in the top left here and then go down to um the what is the if you haven't already do, done it i've already done it here and it's per i guess it's a roster level quest but it'll be what is your gear transfer your gear conversion and what that does is that it, it enables a button here on your character screen so if you press p 
for me. You see this gear conversion is here. This allows you to ch change the set that you are currently equipped with. So you can hit this and you can choose any of those other sets that you're looking for. So if you choose the wrong one or you want to try something else, uh, uh, people use the betrayal set quite a lot for doing like solo farming and things like that. This button normally won't be here, but you want to have it here. So just press J, go to guide, go down to what is gear conversion and finish that quest. It's like 30 seconds and then it'll unlock it here normally like in in the game you have to complete a full set and fully upgrade it before it allows you to do this but this just unlocks for free because it's the ignite server next what we want to do is we want to start progressing through this checklist of uh, gear like we basically want to start putting that through and the way we do that is we have to hone our gear pieces you can see this is plus 15 we want to add, go to plus 16 plus 17 plus 18 and get this eye level up and we do that anywhere in town where you can see this hammer a gear honing character so we're gonna go up here in Voldis we're gonna go to the triport we're gonna teleport up here and we're gonna go to the gear honing vendor and start honing our way up to 1620. so now we're here our goal is to just hit these checkpoints and because you're limited on the amount of resources that you have you want to basically target hitting these checkpoints exactly step by step until you get to the end. So what we want to do is we want to hone each of these pieces to 1560, which is going to be plus two more than they currently are. And we're going to get all of those to plus 17. So we can hit 1560 and this will unlock more resources for us to hit 1570, 1580 and unlock. And you'll notice that you'll get even more boost as you go along. And this will go pretty, pretty quick. Now, in my experience, I've honed probably about 15 characters on the Ignite server now probably about seven or eight of them were able to get it without other steps involved. Most of them got pretty close. Like you can get to like maybe 1555 or 1556 in order to get through that. So let's do that real quick. We're going to the gear honing guy. We're just going to go through each of these one by one. Your step process is adding in the silver and the honor shards to allow this to upgrade. When this gets to 100%, then you can try to hone it. It's going to have a success chance, and it's a little bit lower um, than what you'll see later on. And it's definitely lower than what you'd see on the real servers, as all of these are incredibly accelerated. They also have a pity system, which means if you fail too many times, it'll eventually just guarantee it to succeed. And what you want to do is you want to use these books that they're giving you. You see, without these books, if I do selected it loses four percent so we just want to hit that hit apply the same during honing and then we just want to go until it succeeds there we go that's 16 we're gonna go again and we go 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 and we're getting super unlucky there's 17 so we want to do this for every single piece of this so we can hit the 1560 checkpoint because that will give us more resources so that we can actually get through that so we're just going to spam we're going to spam we're going to spam we hit 17 just make sure you don't go over 17 because it costs more and more resources the higher up you go and eventually it'll just start exceeding what you have available and again you want to hit that checkpoint in order to get to the end here we're actually running out of leap stones so it's very likely that we're going to have to to do some other activities to finish off the last little bend of it. Okay, so you see we burned through all of our leap stones. We have four at 17, one at 16, and one at 15, which puts us at 1555, and our goal is to hit to 1560. But luckily, there's a bunch of extra stuff that you can get in this process that allow you to finish that out. If you are not like me and you just started on the Ignite server, you're going to have some things that you can buy here on the common shop. So there's always, almost always going to be an event shop going on. There is on the live servers. There's almost always one that has, you do the in-game events, you get these special coins whatever they are at the current time and it'll allow you to unlock these so i'm going to buy some of these leap stones out of the shop you'll have more in there than i do just because you probably haven't used them for other characters so we're going to get some leap stones and see if we can finish this out okay so there we go we just got 17 on all that gets us a 1560 you'll notice there's now a red dot a call to action to our rising express we can now accept the next level of rewards so we're going to do that the box is there and you'll be able to accept this this gives you a bunch more resources that you can then use to keep honing and once you get to 1560 in my experience you can get all the way up to 1585 very easy the hard part is getting to 1560 now if you don't have any coins here you're going to have to do the daily requirements you can bring up your content list and i would just go through these you can find una tasks that give you the resources that you're looking for but primarily i would just follow this quest line right here there's a growth mission that you can follow that gives you a bunch of resources and most of them are very easy so the first one is enter into a chaos dungeon do the chaos dungeon and we'll give you a bunch of stuff so all you have to do is do open your content list go to chaos dungeon 
find one that you can do and then do the highest one possible and complete it. Uh, it's just a quick little dungeon run where you can farm and get loot. That'll give you loot. It'll then ask you to do a guardian raid. You can join any guardian raid that you want. I recommend doing like Hanumatan or even Caligulos, Carl as we call him, um, if you wanted to get through that. And that those two activities should be enough if you're really unlucky in order to get all the way to 1560 to get this box. But now that we have it, we're gonna then, instead of doing two at a time, we're gonna do one. So we wanna do one at a time here until we get a success. So there's 18, we wanna put every single one of these items to 18 which will get us to 1570 which is the next checkpoint okay now we've owned everything to, to plus 18 that puts us at a whopping 1570 in a matter of minutes and then we can click this accept the next box which is going to be at 1570 we accept this it gives us even more rewards and then we go right back in uh it gives us enough to get to the next level as well so we go ahead and we pump through this until we get to the success unless we're like super unlucky like this the pity is way slower on this you can very easily get through these uh in a short period of time which will allow you to get all the way to the uh, plus 19 which is where we're going to hit our first checkpoint now we got everything to plus 19 we're 1580 we're going to accept the next gift and what's cool about this one is that there's going to be some gold in it as well and this is where you're going to start needing gold so except this it's going to give you the next level of gear and this is the gear you're going to want so this is Brelshaza based gear you can see it's at plus 19 it's 1580 you want to grab the same set that you used here um, if you're confused about the names here you can just look for the same names so like hallucination is what I'm using so I'm going to use that one again but if you're a support you may do yearning that sort of thing so you're going to grab that put this on and then you're going to process this get everything on you'll notice that my uh, eye level went up by five because that these go to plus 12 which are base 1585 instead of 1580. The next thing you're going to want to do is at this point is you're going to want to gear transfer your items. And the reason for that is because each item at the very top there, you can see under the item level has a quality. The higher the quality, the more stats it provides for you. And when you get gear for the first time, it randomly chooses quality. So just in case you got lucky, you can see that, the, that my new set is less quality than my previous set. So what I want to do is I want to click this and hit gear transfer, which will transfer over the quality percent over to my new item. So now my new item has the improved quality on it do that for each of your items in case you random to higher number on these you see that one did so my first two random higher quality i'm going to do the same thing here and do that for each one of your items all the way down the list so now that we've processed all of these the old ones will lose their plus and then they'll they'll transfer their quality over so those all went there the next thing you want to do is walk from the gear honing vendor all the way over here to the quality upgrade vendor and this is where you're going to be able to increase the quality it is a random dice roll to increase this quality the most important one is going to be your weapon because that provides your attack power so getting higher quality on this is super useful but luckily they gave you a, a a large amount of these free upgrade bonuses that you can see it has the ignite server icon on it this allows you to for free roll a new quality so what you want to do is then just start spamming this to see if you can get a nice quality on the weapon and all of your gear as well so we're already at 62 as long as you have these processed chaos stones, you want to use them all up and you'll get more as you push towards 1620, which will allow you to just get this even better. Now, what some people are doing is they'll they'll make a character get to this point, use up all of their quality rolls. And if they don't get lucky, uh, like get a perfect roll on a weapon, then they just remake a character and try again in order to see if they can get something better. But then you can just kind of push all of these here and get this as high as you can, see if there's anything you can do to make this quality even better. And that just makes your character stronger. So now that I've used them all up, you can see that this is actually the most unlucky character I've gotten. My weapon only made it to 67. It will give you a bunch more of these free rolls later on. And you can try these, but you can see I got to purple quality and blue quality on all of my other gear, which will give us HP, which is nice. And then the weapon we can try and work on later to get that up even higher. There's going to be some really nice upgrades you can get from the content shop as well as the event shop and things like that. And also keep in mind that in these boxes are going to be even more of these process stones. So you can keep rolling to get the highest. Again, you can min-max if you want to try and get it there. But I think as long as you can get everything to blue or purple quality, um, especially your weapon, uh, you want to get this to like blue or purple quality. Absolutely. You're good to go and you're ready for the next step. So now your next goal is to hone to 1600. However, since we are now at the 1585 part, all of your hones now are going to start costing gold their gold is pretty accessible on the ignite server and you can't keep any of this gold when you transfer over to the real servers so you can kind of freely use this but it will be a little bit more limited than the resources you've had up until now to get this pushing to get gold there's a bunch of different ways the first one is going to be doing your weekly una gold tasks you can actually just complete dailies and weeklies these quests here when you get enough of these done you'll be able to unlock these 
Paragon tokens, which will allow you to get free bound gold for your character. The other way is that you're going to be doing raids and other content in order to complete those. So you can do solo content if you want. A lot of the old content is available for solo play and you're going to be pretty high level anyways. So if you wanted to try these out, you could. A lot of these do require quite a bit of practice and understanding and learning. You will want to watch a guide video or read something or try something. And generally when you're trying to do these groups, I recommend highly going to one of these and actually finding a group that says learning on it. So if you look at this, you'll find some that are just like re-clear and you'll also find some that are prog or learning. If you're brand new, try the, the prog or learning. People are going to get pissy or whatever, but just use it as an opportunity to get chances at the attempts. And again, things start feeling really good once you start mastering the fights and that's how you can fight one of these encounters for long periods of time because they're very involved, but they're super rewarding and very satisfying and especially super fun to switch characters on because then you play a different character with different animations, different damage windows, and everything gets a little bit more interesting and refreshed because of that. Now, there's another even easier way to do this. If you don't want to do group activities, you will eventually have to if you want to play the game, but I understand any reticence that people have on not wanting to go into group activities right away. You can do something very straightforward to get infinite amount of gold while you're on the Ignite server, and that is because at item level 1580, there is 2,000 bound gold as part of the reward. And remember that all of the, the resources we spent from 1540 to 1580 was just silver. No gold was spent. Gold is required at 1585 to level up, but it's not required to get to this point, which means what you can do is you can go and make a character, do that process that I just did, which took like six minutes to finish, Get that done, get your 2,000 bound gold, delete the character, make a new one, do it again, and you can do that infinitely uh, as much as you want. It does take 24 hours to delete a character, so if you set a character to delete, it'll take 24 hours. You wait the 24 hours and you click delete, make a new character, which means that every single day you can be doing this over and over and getting anywhere from 2,000 to, if you're keeping a character, up to 10,000 gold every day without even having to join any groups or talk to anybody. You can just get your character up that way as an infinite process of getting gold, and you'll probably need I don't, I don't know what the total number is maybe 30,000 gold or 40,000 gold to get all the way to 1620 and then what you'll want to do is you'll want to finish these last two levels because these come with some free bonuses as well so with the ivory tower you will unlock elixirs this will give you a nice bonus these are applied to your armor directly and they give you more power and if you finish at least gate one of fey mine or gate one of ivory tower you'll get these rewards and i do recommend trying to get these you can just do and there are groups by the way that are for them they're saying gate one only they just want to finish the first gate finish the first boss, get the bonus, and then they want to transfer off the server and be done with it. If you're super casual about it, you might want to do that and just kind of get through it. The first gates for these are pretty straightforward. Ivory Tower is pretty straightforward. They mind you'll have to put some time into it and, and effort to learning, but once you get it done, and again, you have until the end of November to get all that done, and then once all of that is complete and you have the character that you want, you can then transfer over to the live servers uh, for whatever server you want to go on to. I'm on Nineve if you wanted to come join my server uh, on US East, but if you wanted to join whatever server those are all available for you but i want to make sure this was out here for people that didn't play the game or haven't tried it because i think this game is at least worth trying because it's so incredibly good there's definitely some you know some people don't like having chance to upgrade when they do their gear upgrades some people don't like having the kinds of gameplay here or what comes out of the gameplay itself but i think it's a, an amazing game at its core and if you can get past the flaws or get past the progression systems it's something that can hold on to you for a long time because it's just that good if you found value in today's video leave a like down below leave a comment for the algorithm to help this video get seen by more people and don't forget to check out my other channels for other content and other stuff and other things